So this is a really good glute activation circuit. It gets all of your glutes fired up pre-exercise, or it's also a good way of conditioning your glutes if you, you have a weakness in there. What you're gonna need is your uh, resistance band, and then place that through both legs, finishing just above the knee, and then lie on your back initially. So I'm lying on my back, and I've got my feet, knees, and the hips in line, so I've got my feet and knees together, there's that, that space and a hip width apart. Lying on the back, hands on the table, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna squeeze my glutes, and I'm gonna drive up from the pelvis to bring myself up into a glute bridge, and I'm gonna hold for four seconds. After four seconds, I'm gonna slowly lower down over two seconds. And then I'm going to recontract and then push up one, two, and then hold for the four seconds. And then down. And I'll do 10 repetitions of them. Then I will turn on to my side. I like to make my hand a bit of an L. And I place my hand on my hip. And now with my knees and my uh, hips bent, I'm going to. The hand on the side, what it does is it stops your pelvis rocking back, keeps everything stacked neatly on top of each other. I'm going to contract my glutes and I'm going to lift my knee up. Hold for four seconds, again a 2 4 2 count, and then slowly lower one, two, and then repeat. Again, I will do this 10 times. After 10 of A, what I'm going to do is keep the bottom leg in place and then straighten out the top leg. Keeping my hand here to keep my hip pelvis level, I'm going to lift my toes up, I'm going to squeeze my quad to lock my knee, and I'm going to bring my leg slightly back. So if I look down, at most I can just see the top of my big toe. I don't want my leg forward with flexion on it back. And then I'm going to raise up to hip height and hold for four seconds. And then lower down for two. And then up for two and hold for four. So when I've done 10 of them, I'm going to go over onto my front. Staying on the same leg, what I'm going to do is I'm going to lift my toes, lock my knee, bring my leg out to the side slightly, and then contracting my glutes, lift my leg up. One, two, hold for the four, and then lower over two seconds. And then go again. One, two, up, hold for four, and then lower over two. When I've done 10 on that leg, I will switch over, lift the toes, lock the knee, leg out slightly to the side, and lift up. Really, you'd have your head forward. You don't want this bend in your neck, it's just so you can hear me talking. And then relax, and then up again. And then you turn on to the other side. So this is my other side, L shape on the hand, hand on the hip, and then lift the knee up, two seconds up, four seconds hold, and then relax down, 10 on that. Obviously, right, you wouldn't flip yourself around, you would turn over, but then I'd have my back to you, which is why I did it that way. And then after you've done 10 of those, straighten the leg, lift the foot, lock the knee, bring the leg back, check you can't see your foot, and lift up to hip height. Hold for the four, and then down for the two. And do 10 here, and then you're done. So it makes sense, you're, you're, you're going round, starting on your back, onto your side, onto your front, onto your side, and then you're done, and you're away.